Hey guys, welcome to the video. Glad to have you back. Glad to have you here if this is your first one. This video is episode three in my electrical video. And in this one, we're going to mainly be working on the wiring diagram and the wiring harness for the Baja Bug. So let's get to it. So I've got my wiring harness here. This is the main harness that's gonna be going along the tunnel. I've been laying this out with my wiring diagram. The wiring, wiring diagram has been telling me what wires I need to have in here, basically what colors, and kind of designating how long they need to be once they get outside of the loop. So this is the back side of the loop. This is gonna be the part that's going towards the fuse distribution block. These shorter ones here are gonna be landed at the distribution block. These long ones here are probably not going to go into the distribution block. These are going to be for tail lights, brake lights, license plate lights, things like that. This loop over here is going to be going into the engine compartment. So this will be for like uh, the ignition, the choke, the oil pressure switch, things like that. And these have all been, uh, I've laid these out so that these should be long enough to make it all the way from here to their destination without needing any splices. Then in the front end here, this is this end of the loom is going to come out behind the dashboard. Um, these shorter ones here are all just long enough to make it to some switches that will be on the dash. And these are a little bit longer because these are going to be on switches that are on the far end of the dashboard. So I added a little bit extra for these. So now I'm going to go take this and uh, put the loom in the bug and start running the wires to where they're roughly supposed to go. This is the fuse distribution block that I bought. Um, I bought this off of Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description. I looked at a lot of different options, looked at a lot of reviews. This is the one I went with. I'm glad that I did because I'm really happy with it. I've got this mounted in my, what I'm gonna call the distribution panel. It's got the battery here. The battery goes to this disconnect switch. Right now this is off that turns it on. So that energizes the battery to this distribution block. Opening this switch completely isolates the battery. There's nothing connected to the battery at this point. All of the distribution points come off the, the second leg of this switch. I did that so that if I am having an emergency or short circuit or something, I know that if I open this up, this battery will be completely disconnected. When I have the second battery set over here, I'll have another disconnect switch mounted right over here. That way I'll be able to decide if I want that one on, I'll close that switch. If I want this one on, I'll close this switch. I'm just not gonna install this battery or this switch until I'm really towards the end of the build on this because these are 200 bucks and I only wanna pay for one right now. But I did, in marking this out, I also mounted this one out and gave myself a pilot hole so when it does come time to install that um, I can easily just drill this hole and it'll be um, in the same general location as this one. So the first thing I did is I drew up my wiring diagram and this wiring diagram is probably not complete because as I'm actually building the wiring diagram and actually running the wires I'm coming across things that I've forgotten so I've had to add them into that wiring diagram. In order to lay out my wiring harness, this is my main wiring harness here. I've got, I've got these, I've got these that come in here and get power. They run out here, they go to this main loom, which runs along the hump. It comes up through here. And for right now, it just comes up here behind the dashboard. Uh, my next video will be on me installing switches, installing my idiot lights, landing some of this wiring on the dashboard. But for now, this is like most of these wires here are coming from the distribution block. Some of these are going to, I uh, think, some lights and whatnot. Some of these are longer so that they can reach to the other end of the dashboard. The wiring harness told me how many wires I need coming this way, going to the dash, and it told me how many wires I need coming back to go to the engine or the tail lights or what have you. 
because what's happening is some of the wires come from the distribution block because certain circuits I need to have isolated with different fuses. So they come from the distribution block up the tunnel and then they'll go to switches and the switches will send them power or do whatever at that point they'll go to where they need to go whether that be the light bar the headlights or most of them travel back down the tunnel instead of going back into the electrical box they go into this T and they follow this wiring harness which travels underneath the body to the engine and to the lights in the back so if we come underneath here this is the disconnect switch this is the uh, lead coming from the battery you can see on this terminal it's all by itself that's because when I disconnect power it takes power away from here and that makes it so that the battery is completely standalone now off of this post when I close this switch this post gets power that then sends power to the starter down this cable this cable which is this is a six gauge this is a 10 gauge this 10 gauge one comes from the alternator and this 10 gauge one feeds power to the distribution block for all of the accessories and then these two leads the one goes to the starter and this other one goes to the engine compartment here's where the six gauge goes to the starter this is the wire that goes to the uh, solenoid if you notice here this loom goes from the the split loom to this uh, spiral wrap loom. The reason that I did that is I don't like to take wires out of the split loom. I electrical taped it at the end here and then I transfer to this this wrap loom. Now once I get past the firewall here I separated these four wires because these four wires are for brake lights, left turn, right turn, and tail lights. Okay so these are going to be part of a a separate loom. Then I continue up here. I get to this point here and I've got this 10 gauge for the alternator and then I've got this smaller one here for the alternator charging light and then this red one here goes to the, goes to the electric choke. And then we come around here and I've got this orange one is going to be for my distributor. This isn't going to be the distributor I'm going to use. So I haven't connected this yet. This purple one comes down here and connects to the oil pressure switch. And then this loom here continues just beyond the firewall back here and powers the fuel pump. It took a lot of attempts to make the wiring harness. I made the wiring diagram first. That helped me to just determine, like I said, how many wires I needed to go out and how many wires I needed to come back. But then I actually, well, to be honest with you, I think I made the wiring harness three times. And what I was doing is I would, uh, I would pull the wires that I thought I needed and then I would roughly install it. And then I would look at if I had all the wires that I needed, if I had pulled them too far, if I allowed enough slack to go from the distribution bo block all the way back to the engine compartment and I had to do that three times before I had it right. The wires itself I got from a company called Wire Barn and I'll put a link in there and they're actually that wire is designated for automotive use. I spent a lot of time and a lot of money buying a bunch of these parts. I want to make it easier for you guys if you're trying to do a project just like this. So anything that you see in the description I'm happy with and is good quality for an application like this Baja Bug. With the wiring diagram that I showed you, um, bear in mind that's not done. If you're thinking about using that on a project that you have, you might want to wait till some of the later episodes because in the later episodes I'll have that wiring diagram complete. So thanks for watching the video guys. Um, I really hope it's helping you with any of your projects or motivating you to possibly go work on something or build something because that's what I want everybody to be able to do. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Take care.